of activity outside this morning. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of activity. Hmm. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Friday. <sighs> I took a break yesterday. A much needed break. One thing I know for sure is that it is imperative that all of us take breaks, you know, not just those of us who show up in the capacity of a practitioner, but those of us who show up at all. <laughs> we all need to take breaks. It's a sign of the culture that we've been groomed in to think that we always have to be busy, that we always have to be moving, that we always have to be productive and the fact is we always need to take breaks so I want to say good morning to everyone who is live streaming with me right now thank you so much for your presence thank you for your positivity for your love for your encouragement I got a lot of DMs and text messages yesterday people were checking and asking if I was okay and I realized wow I literally just took one day away to myself and to know that I have so many people that are thinking of me and caring about me and encouraging me it just felt really good to receive all of that so I'm really grateful for it Today is Friday, and we have made it to the close of another week. And depending on where you are in the world, your city or your county or your state might be opening back up today or tomorrow. And that can bring with it a lot of different feelings, emotions, ideas. And it's important to allow yourself to be present with all of them and to recognize that if you're not feeling like over the moon, super excited about everything opening back up, that's okay. If you're feeling a little bit excited about things opening up, but not really sure what's going to happen next, that's okay too. If you're feeling indifferent about the whole thing because you've just gotten so used to being in quarantine, you're like, screw it, what's another week? That's also okay. I think it's important for us to acknowledge that every single feeling that we have is worthy of being felt. That there's no feelings that are better than others. There's just some feelings that we prefer to extend and others that we prefer to shorten or get out of really quickly. Typically the feelings that we prefer to extend are the good ones. The joyful feelings, the relaxation feelings, the excited feelings, the validated feelings. On the other end of the spectrum, the feelings that we tend to avoid or want to rush through are the ones that don't feel so good. The feelings of sadness, the feelings of anger, the feelings of rejection. Those are the ones that we tend to steer clear of as much as possible. When in truth, it's necessary for us to feel all of the feelings, to be able to be present with every feeling and to know that we have a choice as to how long or how little we are going to remain in any particular mood or with any particular feeling. The culture that we live in today often encourages us to be happy, be happy, be happy, be good, be joyful, be full of energy, be productive, be moving, be growing, be accomplishing all the time. And while there's value to having accomplishments and having positive energy and having lots of light and vibrancy about you, there's, there's benefit to that. It's also important to recognize that that is a particular state of mind and a particular state of me being that we are not always going to be in. Sometimes we're going to feel really, really good, and sometimes we're not, <laughs> period. 
<laughs> we're just not. And to allow ourselves the space and the grace to be able to be in any particular feeling until we find the lesson or until we find the purpose or until we reach that point of reflection where we're able to say to ourselves, oh, that's where this feeling is coming from. Okay. And then we get to reach for the next good feeling. And typically the way that we reach for the next good feeling is to pay attention to the next thought. What's coming up? It's important for us to recognize that when we are busying ourselves all the time, that while we might be telling ourselves that we're staying busy because we have things to do, we have you know, boxes to check off of our list, we have tasks to complete, when in reality, sometimes we're busying ourselves because we don't want to be with ourselves. Because being with ourselves takes a different type of energy, a different type of discipline, a different type of commitment than to busy ourselves. If we spend most of our time, thank you, Alexa. If we spend most of our time busying ourselves, then how much of our time are we spending being with ourselves? If you ask yourself while you're watching today, the few that are streaming right now, ask yourself, how much time do I spend just being with myself? And what does that look like in comparison to how much time I spend busying myself? It's important to have the balance, right? We need a little bit of both. We need a little bit of busy, a little bit of being. A little bit of busy, a little bit of being. But when the busyness starts to outweigh the beingness, and the beingness is like, hey, what about, remember me over here, just like being, just waiting for you to come, just be with me. That's what your internal self, your soul self is saying to you. So sometimes we'll be going, 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 and we hit a wall. And we have to sit back and say, okay, I'm tripping. Let me just be with myself for a minute. And our culture as a whole doesn't really encourage much of that. Our culture as a whole tells us that if we're not busy doing, accomplishing, producing, creating something all the time, that we're somehow falling short of what the overall expectation of our world is. When in reality, those of us who are taking the time and creating the time to be with ourselves, to really be in our bodies, with our breath, observing the thoughts of our mind, being present with the soul self, those of us who are spending time doing that, we actually get to walk around with a different sensation about ourselves, about our bodies. Our minds work differently. We move differently. We might speak differently. We might dress differently. We might just, just be different. And I encourage us to continue to do that. So if you need a day ever to just sign off of everything, to go inward, to say no, thank you, to say later, to say, I don't want to. Take the time and allow yourself to do that for as often or as little as you like. We get to start to release, thank you. We get to start to release our attachments to expectations that we've either created for ourselves or expectations that have been created for us. We are in these bodies for only a bit of time. In the grand scheme of things, our physical experience is a second. So what we do with our practice is we give ourselves a chance to lay down the busyness and step into the beingness. Lay down the busy, lay down the tasks, lay down the schedules, the expectations, the to-do list, the supposed to's, 
lay those down. And for the time that we come into this space, into our meditative space, into our cozy, comfortable, relaxed, intentional space, all we bring with us is ourselves. And everything else gets left behind, even for just a little while. So it's about that time for us to get comfortable into our space, to find that comfortable position for the body, to start to allow the mind and the breath to come forward, to allow the body to settle into that space of stillness. beginning by deepening the breath. Lengthening through the inhale. Releasing through the exhale. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose. allowing yourself to settle in, allowing the eyes to fall closed, allowing the shoulders to come down and away from the ears, letting the hands drop down soft and heavy. Noticing the environment around you. Subtle sensations of sound or feeling across the skin. together slowly and bowing the head to the heart. Taking a moment here to set an intention for your practice. An intention is simply an invitation to something you would like to allow, or create space for experience in your life. Maybe it's more time with yourself, more rest, more stillness. Maybe it's allowing peace to enter, releasing worry, releasing doubt, whatever you'd like. Sealing in your intention with a deep inhale and releasing your intention with an exhale, allowing the hands to come down, allowing the head to float back up to neutral and returning to the rhythm and flow of your own beautiful breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Feeling the rise and fall of the chest with each passing breath. Noticing the sensation throughout the body as the breath moves. Take 
taking a scan of the body, beginning with the toes and the soles of the feet. As you move through the body, simply with your attention and awareness, begin to soften each and every part. Softening the feet, the legs. Softening in the seat lower back, up through the spine, releasing the shoulders, letting the heart float forward. Drawing awareness up to the crown of the head. softening through the face, releasing that space between the eyebrows, feeling the tip of the nose as each breath enters and exits the body. Softening through the cheek, Releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Letting the jaw become heavy. Deepening the breath here. Taking notice as the body becomes still quiet, the mind begins to wander, attempting to draw you away from this moment with thoughts. And as you continue to choose to just be here, allow these thoughts to be acknowledged and then released to continue on their way. Giving yourself permission to remain in this moment. As you feel the subtle sensations in the body, begin to allow yourself to go a little deeper. beyond the sensations, begin to recognize the feelings, the feelings of stillness, of peace, the feeling relaxation, allowing yourself to let go and release all attachment to the schedules, to the work, to the busyness, allowing yourself these moments to just embrace Embrace the true soul self that you really are. Aside from the body, aside from the titles, who you really are. Breathing into that space. to invite the presence of your angels 
your ancestors, spirit guides, that divine loving presence all around you. Feel their soothing embrace. Listen for the whispers of wisdom into your heart. Remember your purpose, knowing that you are here with intention. There is purpose woven into your life. Purpose is not something that you have to go looking for. It is woven into your very existence. Breathing into the space of knowing you are here on purpose with purpose. No matter where you've been or what you've done, know in this moment that you, as you are, are divine. That you are loved, protected, provided for in all ways. Everything is working out for you. Always. Breathing deeply here. For the next couple of moments, as we begin to step into a space of stillness, of silence, Allow yourself to find comfort in the quiet. Allow yourself to sip in the sweetness of your stillness. Breathing deeply as you allow yourself to embrace it all. In the end, you will hear the sound of the bell. In the meantime, allow yourself to sit in the seat of the observer present in this moment and simply be, simply be.
remaining where you are, connected to your breath, beginning to introduce small movement into the body by deepening your inhale and lengthening your exhale. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Turning the head gently from left to right. Bringing the chin down towards the chest and rocking the head over to the left. Back to the center and then rocking the head over to the right. Coming back to center, bringing the palms together at the heart, taking a deep inhale. Holding for a moment, allowing the self to feel full before releasing through the exhale. Two more, just like that. Deep inhale. Hold and embrace before the exhale. Last one together. Big inhale. And exhale. Bowing your head to your heart as you honor yourself for showing up as you are, who you are today. For trying something different and for creating something new, honor yourself. I honor each of you for allowing me to be your guide, to share this practice with you, to be in this lovely space with you. I proclaim prosperity, peace, and pure joy over your life as I do mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rubbing those palms together, activating some of that beautiful energy we created and cupping the palms just over the eyes. Gently blinking the eyes open, letting small bits of light enter before bringing the hands down and away from the face. And we are back. So before I part ways with you today, I want to share a little message from this lovely deck that we've been working with for the last eight weeks. <laughs> this is the Notes from Love, Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection, and it's an amazing little deck, and I'm just really enjoying working with it, so I appreciate you guys for, for vibing with me. How's everybody feeling? Let me know how you're feeling. Let me see some hearts tapping the heart in the bottom right corner or feel free to drop, drop a comment or an emoji and let me know what's on your heart now, what's on your mind, how you're feeling now that we've come to the close of our practice today. <laughs> we get this one a lot. So today's message, there's actually two. Today's message is, you needn't worry. You needn't worry. And it has the colors of a rainbow on it. This one I think we've seen before. You needn't worry. What this is is a reminder for me to know that no matter what is going on in the world around me, no matter how uncertain it might be, or even if I'm just having a bad day, you needn't worry because there is always joy in the morning. There's always some light on the other side. There's always a silver lining. And the last message is that it's time for a love fest. That sounds like a good idea, a love fest. And a love fest can be right in here. Taking a moment to lay down the busyness and invite a love fest into your heart, into your mind today. Thank you, everyone. Relaxed, aligned, happy, relaxed, wonderful, relaxed. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. So as we wrap up, I have two church announcements. <laughs> One, 
starting next week i will be launching a private meditation group that will be meeting off of social media if you are interested in that and you have not already done so please send me a dm with your best contact number and email address and a link will be sent to you directly so that you can register for that secondly starting next week also i will be continuing to offer meditation on instagram live except it's going to be a little bit earlier in the morning haha <laughs> so there's a couple reasons why but um they'll instead of the us meeting at 10 a.m we're going to be meeting at 9 30 a.m here on instagram live and then the private meditation group will actually be meeting afterward so if you're interested in diving deeper into a meditation practice and you want to actually have a just another layer of collective experience meditating together then that's what the intention of the private group is so i'll be posting flyers on my story and on my profile later on today with more information for that lastly for those of you who have been practicing with me on every day you know for the last eight weeks i just want to give you a special shout out just a word of recognition to let you know that if any of you are interested in learning more about the other services that i offer in addition to these free meditations feel free to connect with me directly you can send me an email text message dm whatever you like and lastly just um my yoga class is still on pause right now because my patio is still unavailable so if you'd like to join me for yoga stay tuned for that but if you're looking for another practitioner i think anna might still be on here if you see her in the comments electric anna she also leads yoga classes via instagram also another great uh, practitioner in meditation as well so if you're looking for someone to kind of get some movement in with she's a great resource for that so that's all i got <laughs> those are the end of the announcements thank you guys for sticking around i appreciate you I appreciate your presence. Have an amazing weekend. If you have questions, reach out. If you'd like to make a donation, the information is here below. May your day and your weekend and your days be blessed and blissful always. Namaste. Thank you guys. <laughs>